Yeah, yeah, big storm coming, black rain coming First in the world, tell me who won it Winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep Big storm coming, black rain coming First in the world, tell me who won it Winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep Alright man, so before we get into the video, man I just want to say I appreciate all the support, man Like, the love has been crazy so far Like, 5,000 views on each video's uh, comments Y'all are very, very, um Supportive in the comment section about the grind, the Red Glitter Boy grind. Uh, do me another big favor, man. Do me the biggest favor ever, man. If you listen to this right now, just hit that thumbs up button, man. Smash that like button. The like button goes a long way. The like button shows me that I'm putting out good content, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So, I've always been the type of person that never really ask for anything, but that's all I'm asking from you guys is to just hit that like button, man. Um, I know you guys want 50 minute videos, the hour, the, the hour long videos. I'm struggling to get these videos, uh, these videos out, bro. Simply because the number two guy on the leaderboard is just like he don't sleep. And excuse me, I'm just trying to match his grind right now. And this dude, number two on the leaderboard, just does not sleep. And I'm just constantly just trying to record and get games played just so that I can like keep the number one spot. But um, the way this works, though, the way the leaderboard actually works, though. If that person sees that they're never gonna get number one, they will not like to keep grinding for number two. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about a week of this grind, and once he fall off, I'll be ahead of so far ahead of the other two, uh, the other guys that I can be able to like relax a little bit or create longer videos for you guys. So um, just bear with me, man. Right now, what I'm trying to do is just show you guys the good games. You know, I play a lot of games a day so far, man, and like a bunch of them are just not good content you know what I'm saying? I'm beating somebody 21 to 0 they quit first quarter I beat somebody 28 to 0 second quarter they quit you know what I'm saying so I'm just trying to show you guys the games where people put up points and people actually score it's a back and forth game just to keep the content pretty good you know what I'm saying so um hope you guys enjoyed this video do me another big favor man smash that like button oh RG Marlow is posting his content on the rigs uh current gen as well right now he's number one on the Xbox leaderboard right now so uh, that's both of us number one in the world right now on next gen and current gen, which is amazing. You know what I'm saying? But before we go into the video, man, smash that like button. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, man. So right here, I'm playing against the Dolphins. Now, um, quick conversation, man. So the most used teams I've seen so far, the most used team is the Eagles. You know what I'm saying? The Eagles is the most used team that I have seen so far. Um, next, I was at the Cowboys, bro. I've ran against so many Cowboys players, it's not funny. Like, almost every game for me is like the Eagles or the Cowboys. And then I would say the Dolphins is next. And then maybe the Jets. But I've only I've only played against the Jets like three times. Um, the craziest thing ever, the craziest stat that I just now thought about is I have not played against the Chiefs not one time. I have not seen the Chiefs. One time, bro. Like, not once have I played against the Chiefs. I haven't even looked at the Chiefs roster really to see exactly what's going on. But this right here is the toughest scheme to defend versus the Dolphins because he's under center running the ball. And then, you know what I'm saying? They, they just got too much speed, bro. And then you force a mistake like that. And then you're like, thank God. You know what I'm saying? But this is the toughest scheme to play against simply because um, the running back's 95 speed, you know. Two receivers, 99, 98 speed. Robbie Anderson, 95 speed. The backup running back's 95 speed. You know what I'm saying? So when you sitting there thinking, oh, I got to stop stretch. I got to stop stretch left, stretch right. Oh, it's 95 speed. Any missed tackle, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? And then you have to get into the picture of, fuck, I got to put somebody back there to try to stop 99 speed and 98 speed. You feel me? So this is honestly the toughest game. Then the corner routes and then... The juke right there. Once you get in the open field like that, it's pretty much gone unless you get somebody to, you can pray to somebody to come out there and help you. You know what I'm saying? Versus versus um versus the Dolphins, then a catch like that and it's over with. You feel versus the Dolphins? I wish we could have like 13 people on the defense. Like not even joking, bro. You need like 13 people on the defense to try to stop the Dolphins, bro. Um, which brings me to this topic of conversation. Um, it's only the first couple days of Madden, right? Um, we haven't really figured out what the meta defense is, and uh, nobody's come out with a like a solid. This is this is it right now. This is this is what's going on in next gen. This is the defense that we're using in next gen. Nobody's dropped nothing like that because offense is so easy now. I've seen him run that first the first drive right there, so we knew that was coming, and we went and picked that off right there. But um, 
offense is so easy to the point where like you start second guessing your defense, right? One one play your defense might work, you're like, all right, this is it. You know, so I figured it out. Next play it might work, okay, and then bam, shit. You know what I'm saying? And the problem is, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not complaining. You know what I'm saying? This is me just explaining to you guys. That's why everybody on this channel think I'm complaining, bro. You're always complaining about the game, bro. Just play it, bro. Don't say nothing about the game. Just play it. And somebody will drop a wide open pad and somebody, and, and I'll be like, damn, bro, they got to fix the catching on this game. And, and people expect me to just be like, no, bro, hey, good day. Just catch it next time, buddy. You know what I'm saying? You, you're good. Just pat on the back. Catch it next time. Nah, hell no. Nah. Wide open pass and you drop it, bro. I won't, hey, fix that. You feel me? But um, the thing is the inconsistency on this game to the point where, like, you really never know what's going to happen. So whenever I put out a defense on the field, I'm expecting what I think should happen with that defense. And then when it don't work, it's like, damn, okay, let's try something else. Then that don't work. So um, defense is tough, man. Now, I have completed my offense ebook. Offense ebook is fire. What you guys see me running in these games is what's in my offense ebook. Um, down to the T, down to the area low adjustment, um, what to do versus this, what to do versus that. Now, this right here was a bad defense adjustment by me. Um, not a bad defense adjustment. I just didn't get my, all my adjustments in. For anybody who's playing next gen, you guys notice that it's like you're putting in the adjustments on the controller, and it's like you have to press the buttons. It's like I'm pressing these buttons super hard to try to get the adjustments down because it's like Madden can't keep up with the speed of the adjustments I'm putting in. Like if I double tap X, and then try to put, which is, you know what I'm saying, double tap Y and X to try to put my corner on a on a deep uh, zone. It's like I got to double tap it fast. Then I got to look to make sure he's in there because sometimes the, the, the buttons are just not pressing or Madden just not keeping up with my adjustments. So this guy right here should be in a deep fourth, um, but he's not because I guess my adjustment didn't go down. So he's in a cloud, which leaves this guy wide open right before the half on fourth and ten. Just... That just sucked right there, and then that's 95 speed, so we're not going to catch him. So that actually sucked right there, giving up that touchdown before half. Um, and then, like I say, when you got two making passes like this to, to Jalen Waddle, who's just, you know what I'm saying, just outrunning everybody is tough. But um, the offensive ebook is fire, bro. And then, see, see right there. So this, this is a situation right here, bro. Situation right here. It, it, in real time, we're going to complain about this, bro. Like, why would I not complain about this? Why would I not? Bro, don't complain, bro. Just play the game. Why would I not complain about this, bro? It's, it's, that's an easy interception. Why are you smacking the ball down? You feel me? Now, I'm happy that we, he didn't catch the ball, but like, that's an easy interception. And then we just get outran by speed right there. Like, when, when, when we have a chance to, to get a stop, I want to get that stop because. It's hard, bro. Defense is hard on this game. Defense is so hard to the point where, like, you got to try all type of shit to get a stop. And then when you finally set up the defense perfect and then you, you know what I'm saying, smack the ball down, I get mad. Like, yo, that should have been a pick off. That should have been picked off. But like I said, man, the offensive ebook is done. Um, I have to edit it up and then I will drop it for you guys. Um, on the website, if you already bought the ebook, you don't have to worry about buying it again. The ebook will be sent to your uh, to your email address that you signed up with. That is a laser. Um, I have everything. I have everybody's order. If you know what I'm saying, after I drop it and you don't receive it, if you don't receive it next week at some time, and you know you bought it, then just message me your order number and I'll send it out to you again. Now, when, when, it's it's also hard when you got two of making passes like this, bro. That's what's so hard about the shit. You feel me? Trying to guard the Dolphins and two is making passes like that. Not saying two is a bad quarterback, but Jesus Christ, you know. And then, I mean, Dolphins is Dolphins is tough. Dolphins is tough. So, um, the defense that I'm gonna put out, the defense I'm gonna put out is, bam, for an example, right there. Simple, easy pass. You know, I went to possession catch it. I went to possession catch it right here. Simple, bam. That's an easy pass. There's no reason that we should drop that pass. Now, what you guys are going to say, in real life, they drop passes. Yeah, they do, but this is a video game. Like I've already explained, that's like you playing Call of Duty and you go to pull your trick. You, you shoot the gun and your gun jam. You just still sitting there clicking and clicking and you can't shoot. Like That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's wide open. Nobody was, you know what I'm saying? That, that should easily be a catch right there. Um, 
it's to the point now where like whenever we do catch, the, we, we got to pray to get a catch. Like, yo, I hope he is wide open. I hope he can catch this pass right there. Damn, I, thank you for catching that, McCole. Like, whoo. So what I'm doing at this point is just chewing clock, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Because this guy's offense is so powerful, I'm just chewing clock, and I want to make sure that I got the ball last. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got the first thing. I want to stay inbounds, make him chew up all his timeouts. Um, just because, bro, this dude's offense is fire. You know what I'm saying? I can't lie about it. I haven't got a stop yet. Right? I did get one stop, but I don't want to leave it to him at the end of the game to the point where, like, it's up to him to go down and score. And then he do score and go for two. Now I'm sitting here looking crazy. So he knew what was going on. Um, I was already in field goal range, and he decided to quit right there. Um, that and, and it's crazy enough, that dude was two and six. That dude was two and five right there, but the Dolphins just make it so much better. All right, now you guys are seeing rank number three. I'm just showing you guys good games, all the games that I've played so far. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With Flex Play, you can miss one and still win or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with prize picks, including Famous Lowe's, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, prize picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, prize picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download prize picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. Um, this dude right here, uh, I'm sweaty. I guess it's I'm sweaty. You know what I'm saying? This dude right here was tough as well. But I'm I'm gonna put out the defense that I'm running right now. All the adjustments I'm running, and you might not see the importance of the defense in the videos because, like I said, I'm only showing you guys I'm only showing you guys uh, videos where people are actually scoring and actually doing good. I blow out a lot of people. Like I am destroying a lot of people. With the defense I'm running and things like that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, like that right there, bro. It's double teamed, um, and I'm not mad about that. That's just a great, that's a, that's a great catch. But there's two guys back there, and uh, they just they just took it to a one on one animation right there. So not mad about that. But as of right now, I am currently number one in the world. Um, I am scoring 25 points a game and only giving up 10 points per game. I'm winning by average of 15 points per game. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I could be winning by more per game. Well, I could be scoring more points a game. But it's to the point now where I'm just trying to get through these games now. So if I go up 14 points and I get the ball at halftime or something, I'm honestly going to chew the clock and run the ball. You know what I'm saying? I, and my job, what I'm trying to do is honestly make you quit. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no there's there's no reward for me beating you 68 to 0. While I'm saying playing you still in this game 68 to 0 and you ain't quit yet, the number two dude done played three games already. So he's he's trying he's catching up to me. So what I've been doing lately is just, you know what I'm saying, once I know that I'm comfortable in this game, I know that I can win this game. What I've started doing is just chewing clock. Seriously, bro. Just to get the game over with. So when you do chew clock, you're gonna score less points and you're gonna give up less points as well. You know what I'm saying? So um, but that that's great though. Scoring 25 points a game and only giving up 10 points a game. I'm giving up a touchdown and a field goal each game. I'm giving up a touchdown and a field goal each game. That's it. In a five minute quarter, four four quarters, I'm giving up um, 10 points right there. Four than 10, which we could have called it. And then right here we get screamed at. To just a uh, uh, under pressure pass right there. So that honestly sucked right there. But we do play that C route very, very good. So um, the defensive ebook I will be putting out. Um, same time as the offensive ebook, but I'm still trying to like, I'm trying to wait till last minute to put that out because I'm trying to figure out like, like to me, like the defense is really just not clicking to me right now. It is, but like I usually have a defense to the point where like, all right, this shit is locked down. Like 
because of the simple fact that I'm good with like knowing offensive reads and knowing like what you want to do in certain situations, I know exactly what to put out of their own defense. But it's I mean I, it's only day three for me, you know what I'm saying? So offense has clicked to me. Offense is great. Offense has already clicked to me, but um, defense just not clicking. And I'm and, and it's because like nothing definitely works. Like nothing is a hundred percent going to work. Now they said now they toned down the man to man, but I feel like man to man is the best defense for me, honestly. Um, Will routes destroy man to man. That right there is where he should have took that ball to, um, and that's where I was going with my user. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to get there, but it's like it's like when you play man to man, what you have to do is, and I'm gonna give you guys a tip. When you play man to man, is you have to play underneath coverage to try to stop all the slants and things like that. But you have to be prepared for your guys getting beat over top. And when you guys get beat over top, you have to be there back deep to try to help. As you guys can see, I'm trying to stop everything underneath. Wheel route was wide open. That's why you see me running back first and giving and trying to stop the deep pass. But whenever you play defense like that, you know you're more susceptible to the to giving up a lot of run, uh, rushing yards as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's give or take uh, right now. Uh, DB fire is like a 50-50 chance right now when you, when you run DB fire. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, the Browns, man, the Browns are just amazing on this game. Browns are amazing. Man to man, it's locked down, and then that guy on that edge right there is just fucking insane. He he's 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 insane right there. He pushed him over, right in my face. Looking at my slant, but I don't have time. Take a look, take a look right here. Push him the fuck over, and he's full speed at me right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's his second sack already. So the Browns are a tough team. I'm seeing two. Browns got a lot of speed at receiver as well. Um, a lot of speed. Marquise good. They had a Marquise Goodwin. Um, they got some speed. 96, 95, I want to say. Then 92, Amari Cooper. And then somebody else, like a 94 or some shit. They got some, they got some speed. I can tell you exactly um, the speed they got, the Browns got. But Browns are, Browns are definitely a tough team. So look forward to, <coughs> excuse me, look forward to this weekend. Um, let, let's let's go for Monday. Let's go for Monday. The what would the date be Monday? Um, let's go for Monday the twenty first, August twenty first. Ebooks will be out. That would mean um, I've had what a week. That means I've had a week of playing to figure out what's going on. You feel me? Um, Monday, August the twenty first. Ebooks will be out. Um, so if you already purchased the ebook. You are good to go. It will be sent to you, um, to your email address. Now they got 92 speed Amari Cooper, 92 speed Elijah Moore, 95 speed Marquise Goodwin, 93 speed Grant Senior, and 96 speed Anthony Schwartz. 96, 95, 93, 92, 92 at receiver. You know what I'm saying? That's that's with with uh, Nick Chubb at running back. And with David Njoku at tight end. That's a solid offense. Not to mention Deshaun Watson as well. You know what I'm saying? Solid offense. Great coverage right there by me. Um, but yeah, man. I'm enjoying the grind so far. It's just that number two dude is just... He got me sleepy, bro. He got me tired. And it's like, bro. Like, like honestly, this is my job, right? Madden is my... This is my job. I'm a YouTuber now. For anybody wondering, I don't get paid by EA. EA don't pay me any money. EA has never sent me any type of money. Um, my money strictly comes from my ebook sales, and my money strictly comes from oh my god, nice stick work. My, my my money comes from ebook sales, merch sales. Uh, the merch is on the website as well. Um, if you buy a ebook, you can get any other T-shirt, hoodie, shorts, joggers, anything 20 25% off. There's no code needed. If you buy an ebook and you go and buy a t-shirt, it's automatically 25% off of that t-shirt. Um, but my my money comes from ebooks, merch, and ad revenue from YouTube. So for me, if I don't create a video and I don't post a video, and you guys don't watch that video, I make no money. Any day I don't post a video, I don't make no money from YouTube. So that's why I put out a video every single day. That's like me clocking in every single day. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
and the, the YouTube grind is tough, man. And I'm and so this is my job right now. You know what I'm saying? This is my job. But I'm just wondering what does that dude do? And like it, it, he's on more he, he's on like damn near as much as me. And I am eat sleeping and shitting Madden right now. Not even lying to you. When I wake up, I gotta let my dogs out. And I'm rushing them to get back in so that I can hop on and see if the number two dude is where he is on the leaderboard. You feel me? Where where is he at? What are you doing? You feel me? I woke up this morning, bro. I went to sleep at like six this morning. Right? Went to sleep at six a.m. Woke up at eleven. And this dude was 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 one. This dude was one game away from being number one. I'm like, yo, what did you? What, when are you gonna sleep, bro? Like when? You feel me? He is grinding. So I'm hoping this grind for him don't last that long. That way I can start getting more creative. Like I can get my Madden 24 uh, intro out. I have a Madden 24 uh, sticky compilation already out that I'm ready to that I'm ready to post. I got like so many clips. I got so many clips at this point from Madden 24 because I've played so many games. Uh, I'm trying to do a compilation. I'm trying to get that out. But I can't, I can't stop playing Madden because this dude, the second I stop playing Madden, this dude is grinding games in, grinding games in, and and I just don't want to be second on that leaderboard. You know what I'm saying? Once you're second on the leaderboard, it's just, it's, it's so hard to get back in first. So um, the grind is real right now, man. The grind is real. Like I said, I got a lot of things I want to do. Um, I want to throw tournaments this weekend. Not this weekend coming up, but I want to do tournaments. Um, I want to do tournaments the weekend of August the... 25th and 26th but you know if the ebooks drop August the 21st you have a couple days to you know what I'm saying lab up some stuff through the ebook or what I know a lot of guys that that watch the channel has bought the ebook and they're going to be in the tournament so I'm pretty sure my offense will be ran a lot in these tournaments but um I want to do tournaments August 25th 26th on the weekends but I just I don't know if I'm gonna have time to actually throw the tournament you feel me just because I'm playing so much Madden now. It's not hard to play Madden and uh, run a tournament at the same time. But at the same time, it's like, at the same time, I don't, I want to be locked in. I don't want no mistakes during the tournament, things like that. Now, I'm going to try to find somebody to help me run the tournament as well. But um, it's just a lot going on right now. These first couple of days of Madden has been a grind. And I'm hoping that, you know, it'll slow down a little bit now. Like I've already said, RG Marlowe, he is comfortable at the number one spot on current gen. And I mean comfortable. I think at this point he's like 80 and 4. 80 wins, 4 losses. And um, I think the next dude behind him was like 50 wins or some shit. So he is very, very comfortable on that on, on the current gen leaderboard right now. He will be dropping ebooks for current gen. If you're watching this and you're on current gen right now, um, Marlowe's it. Marlowe's the one. You know what I'm saying? Marlo is the one for current gen. He he kind of he runs a trips offense similar to what I was running, and uh, he runs a trips offense similar to what I was running in in Madden 23 current gen. Um, but he's in the I want to say Patriots offensive playbook, Patriots offensive playbook, and then he's in a four six defense. So um, that'll be a great switch up for y'all to to tap into if you're on the current gen side. Um, as far as next gen side, I'll be handling the ebooks over here, and I'm looking to sign a couple more people to Rain Gang. I'm only looking for grinders, man. You got to be bringing something to the table. Are you? What, what are you good at? Are you? Are you good at franchises? You win a bunch of Super Bowls. Do you? Uh, are you commissioner? Are you a great commissioner? Can you help me run tournaments? Like, you got to bring something to the table. You know what I'm saying? I looked at Marlowe and was like, "Yep, I know you're gonna grind current gen. I know you're gonna you're gonna sell ebooks. You can put on for the for the community. Perfect. You know what I'm saying?" And he's doing a great job so far. Um, all his socials are down below in the in, in the in the comment section. While you're in the comment section, make sure you drop a comment. That was a dumb read right there, honestly. That was a dumb read. Did you write his slime season? This dude right here is pretty good, man. He's showing me why the Jaguars are are, are a tough team. They're low key, but they're definitely a tough team so far. I, I run into them a couple of times. But um, it seems like the Eagles are the, are the team to, to run to this year, bro. Everybody's using the Eagles this year. And uh, funny story, man, funny story. So I'm from South Carolina, right? The only football team in South Carolina, NFL football team, is the Carolina Panthers. And they're not even in South Carolina. They're in North Carolina. They're in Charlotte, North Carolina, right? I'm a Carolina Panthers fan by default. By, that's where I'm from. 
<clears throat> that's where I grew up at. That's what my family, that's the team my family liked. So I grew up watching the Carolina Panthers. You feel me? Like, now, I've had a choice to switch teams. But, you know, once you switch teams, you got to go a year or two with people calling you a bandwagon. I never wanted to do that. I never wanted to go a full year or two rooting for a team that's not like my home team type deal. And then people, bro, you bandwagon them. I never wanted to go through that. So, I don't, I don't really like the Carolina Panthers anymore because they're not a good team. They're like, they haven't really done anything in, a, in the recent years. But I still keep up with them because that's my team. You know what I'm saying? If y'all get what I'm saying. They're a shitty team. That's like, that's like, that's like being a Detroit Pistons fan in basketball. Like, they ain't, they, they, they was good back in the day. They had their run with, with Chauncey Billups and, 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 and Wallace and Wallace and, and, and Rip Hamilton. But they ain't really, they ain't really done nothing. But now it just sucks being a Detroit Pistons fan. But that's your team. You got to rock with them. But I had this dude tell me down below in the comment section, we want to see you grind with the Panthers. We want to see how really, how good you really are. Man, what the what the hell do I look like playing with the Carolina Panthers on Madden? What what? But because that's my team by default, I gotta play with the Carolina Panthers on Madden, on a leaderboard where people are using the very very best teams to try to see who's the best player. That was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. And this right here is one of the things that I'm talking about as far as defense. This is a running back on a DB. This is a running back on on, on Campbell, who, who's, I think he was rated a top 10 cornerback. I think Tyson Campbell was rated a top 10 cornerback this year. And this is Hall. And we is dunking on him. And I was that was a bailout because I'm losing. That was a bailout. That was a bailout. But, um... I'm going to play with the team that I think gives me the best chance of being number one on this reg leaderboard. If at any point in the year I feel like the Jets are not it anymore, for me personally, then I will stop using the Jets. And I'll find and I'll use the team I think is the best team for me on the leaderboard. I'm not about trying to create content right now. I'm not about try, trying to see if, if I can be dominant and... and and use a bad team to defeat a good team. That's not what I'm about right now. No, I'm I'm about being number one on that leaderboard. I want I wanted to say Black Rain Four at the top of that leaderboard. Now you see how this this video look how it got different. So last quarter, last quarter it was like this, and then after the corner quarter, I guess like the sun started shining through the stadium, and now like it, it's light as hell out there. I, when I was playing, I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on? I started checking like my settings and stuff. But I think that's just the setting, cause now you can see like the the uh, shadow right there on the field. I'm like, yo, what the what the hell is going on? You feel me? But um, so right here was a close game, and that that uh pass right there. <laughs> watch the defender. Hold on, watch the defender right here. He started dancing. Watch the defender right here. Him right there. White boy right there. Check him out. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> hey, ho. Hey, boys on the boys on the on the on the on the on the on the ride, wasn't it? Boys on the ride, and I start celebrating. Boys on the ride, wasn't it? Boy got the boys on the bull, wasn't it? <laughs> watch him, watch him come through there. Watch him. <laughs> man, this game is crazy, man. That game right there put me at twenty nine and zero, and that was versus slime season. That was his very very first loss. So. Um, as y'all can see right here, I was scoring 27.5 points a game and giving up 12. But since I've been chewing clock and shit, now I'm only at 25 and 10. So it's still a win separation of 15. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, win separation of 15. I'm just doing it faster now. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys enjoyed that video, man, do me a big favor, man, and smash that like button, man. Smash the like button. Join the Discord. The Discord is lit. The Discord is live. I'm communicating with you guys back and forth. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be a great year. Hit that like button, comment down below, and hit that sub button if you're new. Hey,